right here's a short video regarding uh, coil on plug operation uh, this schematic in particular is from an SX4 Suzuki SX4 but I think they all pretty much work the same once you have a basic concept so I'm just trying to learn this myself actually so um, I had uh, some issues with my coils in my car lately and I actually come to realize that <clears throat> maybe there were some gaps in my understanding yeah I understand uh, the basics of ignition and how it works but uh, the last couple of days have actually taught me a few things so here's actually the schematic uh, of the system itself and I've made a few uh, additions to the drawing but you can actually see here's the actual coil itself in schematic form of course number five being the plug um, so you can see the primary and secondary in the coil and this particular coil on plug design um, like many others I think actually has an integral igniter within the uh, coil assembly itself so I wanted to see if I could actually get better understanding of this by setting up a little test rig um, to see if I could understand it so you can see there's the coil, the coil primary and the co coil secondary uh, the coil primary current being controlled by the igniter here and that actually comes to this transistor which is uh, inside the ECU itself so I looked at this and thought, oh, it's not really switching the ground, I don't think. And uh, fortunately, in the manual, uh, in the diagnostic section, Suzuki were good enough to actually provide a scope trace of what the signal actually should look like. So channel 2 here, if you look at the reference waveform ignition coil signal, that's really the trigger signal that comes to the coil uh, from the ECU and what should it actually look like. So... You can see channel 2 there is actually what actually triggers the number 1 coil in this case. But here's what it actually looks like. The oscilloscope setting is actually channel 2 on 5, po 5 volts per division. And I know it's tricky to see in this drawing. But you can see the pulses there which would, which would trigger the coil. Um, you can see it's just a little under 1 division. So a little at 5 volts per division. Be just a wee bit under five volts well I don't really have anything too fancy of a test setup here so what I did is this arrangement here um, here's the actual coil let's see if I can get this to come back on here's the actual coil uh, I've got it sitting on a battery as you can see I actually have it situated like this for a reason um, so we can actually see the oscilloscope and picoscope trace in the background there the red being the uh, the voltage and um, the blue, I've got it clamped on to the supply so we can actually look at the current. And I've got the coil set up in much the same way that the schematic actually shows us. Uh, the blue being the, uh, the feed, the 12 volt feed to the coil. Uh, the yellow actually being the trigger line and the black being the, uh, being the, uh, the center one being the actual system ground. So how I've actually managed to get the trigger, which is, as you've seen as per the uh, the manual there, just under 5 volts. Well, I haven't got it just under 5 volts, but I figured maybe 6 volts should be good enough. So I've just got two lamps here in series. Just a simple voltage divider, right? So let me see if I can get you a voltage level there. So on the scope, there's 12 volts, of course. That's just going across the, I know you can't tell from this wiring, but that's going across the terminals of the battery. And this going between the two lamps, if it splits the voltage like a volt voltage divider should, should ring in, there you go, just about six volts. Close enough for the trigger. Okay, so let's see if we can actually get it to function. Let's see if we can correlate the uh, coil current with the actual spark and what's actually happening. So I know it's a wee bit weird to look at, but the reason I'm trying to get the scope and the actual plug situated just right so you can see the current ramp and the actual timing of the spark. So let's see what happens here. If we can get it just right on the angle. There's a coil is actually is actually charged and discharged. So it's on the collapse of the coil, of course, as the coil current drops off, not as it actually climbs that you actually get the plug to fire. It's difficult to see I'll see again I'll see if I can get the just right 
Uh, you see the plug fire? Let's see if I can get a bit closer on the plug. Again, watch the background for the coil current ramp. I think you could see it there. So there it's. Oh, it's difficult to, to see the synchronization. There's a coil of charging, and there's a ticket off. It fires. You probably hear it better than you can see it, actually. The blue trace, primary coil current. If we look, if you can get you focused on it, this is actually charging the magnetic field in the primary coil. It's just under, well, what's that, about eight and a half amps? Something like that. It's tricky to do all this with only one hand as I try to hang on to the camera phone. Anyway, I hope that actually made some sense. Right, cheers.